Hello, and welcome to YouTube video of RV Max US. We're gonna bring you another nice trade-in. It is a 2000 model Winnebago Journey, model 36L as in Lima, 36L. Well taken care of motorhome by previous owner from Tennessee. They just bought a four slide, 40 foot diesel pusher and traded this one in. They've had it for several years and uh, the man was retired and the uh, wife is almost retired, but they took care of this motorhome really well. You can hear in the video, generator is running, uh, 275 Cummins. Windshields are free from any cracks or rock road rod chips. Really good shape. Windshields are good. Uh, good solid motor. I love the Winnebago Journey Itasca Horizon. They've got a front flat bus look. Very contemporary look. Fiberglass roof construction on top. We're going to talk about all that in this video. Good, bad, and ugly. There may be some bad and ugly because it's a 2000 model. Anyhow you cut it. It is a 17 years old motorhome. Windshields are good. Windows are good, no foggy windows. As you see some of the older motorhome, no worries right here. Uh, tires are late 13, early 14. They're Yokohama, uh, good tires. No side, uh, side, sidewall cracks, lots of deep treads in them. Uh, they're probably three or four years old, but no worries, you don't need to put new tires right now. Uh, Exterior, you could probably buff it out a little bit if you'd like to, but uh, you know, it's pretty nice exterior without any big flaws. This decal's got little dry rotted cracks. You can have new decals put on from some sign company or call Winnebago. They may sell you this. Uh, lots of underbelly storage. And as you notice, these doors, the air starts on a good condition they're staying up itself, not falling down. We got a Gen Touri muffler system. We got some front windshield and front window covers for those beach camping. I noticed a little bit of rust here, okay? Nothing major. I mean, you, if you're a welder, you could probably weld it and put, put new plate. It's got a little bit of rust. Nothing major. It is a Tennessee and now is a South Carolina Southern coach. Nothing significant, but I like to mention that for those who are like me, nitpicker. You gotta, you gotta nitpick your coach. It is a 2000 model. If you don't want any of that surface rust or want perfect moto, you probably looking at the wrong video. This is a 2000 model. It is not a 2017. Uh, got nice uh, fiberglass. We got, this is our uh, wet bay area. Where that's where you discharge your tanks. By the way, it's got a leveling jack system, HWH. That's your pump and stuff and jacks are down. Let me show you right here all the four leveling jacks works properly they retract properly maybe one maybe slow but they work fine yokohama tires i think date coats are 47 of 12 so you got a 52 weeks in a year so that thing rolled out in a plant around late 2012 it could be installed in 13. Uh, 2017 it could be four years old three and a half four years old uh, we got a 50 amp power cord the previous owner installed this about $700 gizmo. It's a inline uh, surge protector. That didn't come from um, uh, that did not come from Winnebago. They put inline. So when you go to a campground in the summertime, uh, state parks are packed full. You're not actually getting a 50 amp. You may be getting 30 amp. If the voltage up and down. It will not hurt your electronics inside. Uh, this is where you got an outside shower. Easy to winterize. This coach is winterized even now. We're going to de-winterize it, uh, and it'll be ready to go. Got a, uh, just a slight little D-lamb here. Uh, you can take a look at all my pictures. And like I said, if you one weekend, you buff it out and put some wax on it, it'll, 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 it'll shine pretty good. But it is good as it is. But if you'd like to make it better, you can. Uh, looks like a back cap must be painted or something, or just a nice clear coat on the back. The previous owner also installed these little wheels. So when you go in some parking lot, McDonald's or something, instead of bottom out your transmission pan, it'll, it'll, it'll hit this before it'll hurt your engine. So that's a kind of nice feature. Uh, radiators looks to be in good shape. No excessive uh, damage. Uh, by the way, uh, I will tell you more uh, about the diesel. It's a 275 ISB Cummins. The owner who traded it in on a new motorhome, he swore up and down he got double-digit gas mileage all the time. 
that is amazing. But I've seen some of this 36 foot with a 275 Cummins. They will give you 12, 13 miles a gallon. Got a little slight boo boo right here. No big deal. We got a basement air conditioning. That is a great thing Winnebago does. Very quiet operation inside, but the, uh, all the air conditioned ducts are on top of the roof. Uh, it comes from a ceiling, but the air conditioning is basement rather than a roof. We're gonna go up on top of the roof too in just a minute here, show you how nice fiberglass roof is. We got 10 gallon hot water heater, uh, two coach batteries, two cranking batteries. No worries there, good batteries. Again, they're matching, all matching Yokohama tires all the way around. That should be LP tank here. And it is. Big LP tank. For those long winter months, if you like to camp and run your LP gas heat, uh, I'd recommend people, if your campground hooked up, you might as well just uh, use a electric heater. It does have an electric heat too as well. It's got a uh, heat pumps in that air conditioning. Got a spare tire. You don't see that lot. So if you ever get stuck, got AAA or good Sam club, you got a spare tire here. Again, this burgundy stripe got a little bit of damage uh, weather checking. Other than that, are very nice. The patio awning in good shape. Just got a little mildew, could be washed off, but no, I don't see any tears at the end or pinholes. It's in good shape. I like the fade on it. All right, here we have a outside entertainment. I love this. This is Winnebago's exclusive. So it comes out here. The owner just put a nice Bluetooth radio so you can play your music wirelessly. All right, I think box is still here. CD receiver with a Bluetooth. How about that? 240 watts. Oh, also, when we go up on top, we'll show you they also in install a new uh, TV antenna, the King Jack Digital HD TV antenna. Uh, pretty deep storage, as you can see. All right. Uh, so, no foggy windows. You see it, it's see through, no fog in it. Uh, Good solid mud home. Let's get up on top and show you the uh, fiberglass roof. It's very, very clean. All right, let's do that. The video is still on, I see it. I wanted to mention we got a Reese Type 3 hitch back here with a maximum load capacity of 5,000 pounds. Uh, I believe so. The tongue capacity is 500 pounds, but the hitch capacity should be 5,000 pounds. They put this seven pin hookup on top of the st sticker, but it, it should be 5,000 pounds, unless you biff it up and trying to get it more, but that's what they come with a factory from Freightliner. All right, let's get up on top now. All right, we're on top of this fiberglass roof, one piece solid fiberglass, no damage up on top as you can see here. Got a Max Air vent cover on top of the uh, bathroom exhaust fan also the kitchen has another max air take a look at this shower skylight caulking is in really really good shape no dry rotted ignored cock uh, you know roof that is the the king hd antenna i like that we also have a let's see what it is is a track vision kvh automatic satellite dish um, front cap looks good while we're on top you can look at that Patty awning in good shape. This fade didn't come in 2000, so that's got to be later model. And you can always replace them. They're pretty cheap. Look at this slide out topper. It's in good shape too. No tears on it. Got a little small solar, solar panel here. So as far as roof goes, it's solid. No worries. It's fiberglass, not a rubber roof. So that's a great plus on this motorhome. All right, let's get back down and you're going to love the inside of it. As I just said it, you're going to be surprised and you're going to love the inside. Check it out. We've got a hardwood floors. We're your internet warehouse type of dude. We don't have that much traffic and we don't want that much traffic. People just kicking tires. We don't even let people come in with their shoes. So we're going to start right here. We're going to take our shoes off, come in this hardwood floor interior. That is a engineered wood, not a laminate. So 
Got him on side walls, a hardwood. Check it out. You would love it. So you're looking at it, it's a hardwood floor throughout the coach. There is no carpet whatsoever anywhere. Uh, so we changed this entirely engineered hardwood floors. Now, you do get sometimes little scratches here, probably hard to see in the video. There's a one scratch here. But you know what? We won't charge anything extra for that scratch. But that's part of it. When you put this thicker engineered wood slides, put little scratch sometime. I still have this hardwood floor any day, every day over filthy, dirty old carpet. And that's the only reason we changed it. And we do it with a lot of our motorhomes. All right, here we go. We're going to crank this baby up. 72,904 miles. Fires right up. Got a backup monitor. Dash area is ice cold. We'll do the road test and we'll tell you. Got a charging center instead of a regular one uh, cigarette lighter hookup. We also have USB hookup here. Check antenna light is on. That's your slide out control. Generator off and on is here. The little beep you hear because my jacks are down. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the engine off. So you hear the jack, uh, uh, jacks are down right now. You saw it got heated power mirrors. Let's see. They both work, just checking it out. We got a four speed automatic Allison transmission. Got a little breaker breaker, a little CB radio here. Exhaust brakes on and off. Got a map light. Window slides open. You stick your head out. Some of them got small windows. This one got the big one. I like it. Again, windows are not foggy. Really good shape. Uh, as you can see, the seats are in very, very good shape. No tears or any excessive wear. Very nice. Passenger seat also has a little recliner. I like that. So, you know, you get the seat back a little bit and relax here. I got long legs so that it's a little bit hard for me, but here also have a... So you get the picture. Got a step cover that manually just comes out of this place right here. Typical Winnebago. Got little ripples, but no damage or no tears. Good dash. We still have an old TV with a DVD and a VCR, and they work. Uh, you can have a digital KVH receiver, and you will never need to change it. But I have an RV tech here with many years of experience. You could charge you $200 labor, and you pay for the TV and the hookup, or you save you 200 bucks, you could do it yourself if you want to put a LCD TV. You could probably put a 32 inch TV here with no trouble. But it does have a VCR, DVD player, inverter, uh, video distribution box. You just need your receiver since it has a satellite dish up on top. Both of these seats swivel around as you know. We've got a sofa right here. Let's see if this thing, uh, that may be a stationary. I don't think it opens up in a couch. It's a nice sofa. This, however, opens up and becomes a bed. Got some storage under there. So you could have two person sleeps here. Sleep here. We got uh, all the books and records are located right here. Owner's manuals. Any additional paperwork, they're located right here. You don't get that on a lot of those repossessed motorhome. And I don't like to put down repossessed motorhome, but it's a very logical thing. When you have a owner that trade up a motorhome and buy another motorhome and they've taken care of this motorhome, they're in much better shape than financial distress. People can't make payment, they can't take care of it, and so far you, you get a, some junk motorhomes. Oh look, they even put a mirror on the back. How about that? <laughs> I like that little clever idea. We got a double sinks. My cleanup guy left a little Windex in here. Corian countertops. We have a three burner gas stove. 
traditional oven, that's a, that's a plus for diesel pushers. A lot of diesel pushers don't come with a traditional oven. We also have a convection oven, microwave plus convection oven. A little spice cabinet here, additional counter space. We're cutting vegetables or preparing food. Center part of the coach, you have a command center, the power line that this is an EMS, electronic management control. It tells you how many amps are being used where. We've got air conditioning running right now. So it does have a heat, which is a system heat. We have a fur furnace, maybe this one may just have a furnace. So I'll take it back. It may not have a it may not have electric heat. All right. Um, we've got about 3,700 hours on generator. Some people think they're a lot, but they're not really a lot. They're a Kubota engine-driven Cummins on-end generator. I've seen over 10,000 hours. Um, all that stuff's located here. Take a look at the ceiling while we're here. No stains, no water leaks, just in really good shape. Got a coffee pot up there for this coffee maker. The booth dinette has uh, drawers under it for some additional storage. Should have some seat belts. And this booth dinette will fold down and become a bed. So, you know, you can almost sleep five to six people comfortably in this motorhome. Double door refrigerator with an ice maker up on top. One's on electric power or LP gas. Back here, let me show you this. This door opens up. And it's got a couple of magnets that locks in place so you can give a complete privacy back here. I don't know what happened. Um, these lights went off and I'm going to show you in the video. They do really clever design here because I've got everything on. It's a 12 volt reset because I've got every single bulb on for the video, so it, it had popped. It's very simple to do. Winnebago's the only one to do that. So it's not a fuse that you have to change. It's, just, it's a circuit breaker. All right, take a look at it here. Ceiling's in good shape. Very, very minor mildew stain I see from taking a shower, but you know, you could put a bleach and it'll, it'll take it off. No, nothing bad. As you saw up on top of the roof, roof is really good shape. We have a medicine cabinet here. See how that open up this way, all right. Hair dryer. We got it winterized, so no water in the tank. It's got a washer dryer hookups. So very simple to just slide one in here. I've got one used hanging around. We'll sell it to you for about four or five hundred dollars. You can buy a new one for about a thousand or twelve hundred dollars. You can put a washer dryer here. It's prepped, ready to go. Some drawer under here, more drawers over here, and while we're in the center part of the, you see the hardwood goes in the bathroom too. Very professionally done. We've got the quarter around on the bottom. Solid walls everywhere. No perforation from any water leaks. Cabinet. Exhaust fan. Ah, this thing is broken. We'll have to put a new handle. We'll take care of that. Fan works. Just the little handle is stripped out. There'll be little stuff sometimes you notice while you do the video. Solid wall. Um, it's got a 92 gallons of freshwater tank capacity. Uh, GBWR is, let's see, 24,850 pounds. Another coat closet. Oh, they got that little uh, claver thing to hang your brooms or whatever. Bedroom has another sliding door that gives you complete privacy. Back in the bedroom, we have a hardwood floors continues throughout the coach. As I mentioned earlier, there is no carpet. We ripped the whole carpet out. It was an old 2000 model, 17 year old carpet. Back on the both side of the bed, both of this little coat closet or corner K 
cabinets, got solid walls. That's where you find any water leaks in some of the older motorhome if they were not properly taken care of. We have a nightstand on both sides. I think the, this owner just put a his and her sleep number bed. That's a $1,500 mattress or something like that. That didn't come with a factory. We've got some drawers on both sides of a nightstand. No perforation, water leaks. Just a good solid coach. Same here. No swollen up walls. Day and night sheds in really good shape. No condensation. So I'm gonna sum it up. Uh, we're gonna do the test drive video, but I'm gonna sum it up here. This is a well taken care of coach. It's got original 12 volt TV that works, as you can see. Uh, it's a turnkey motorhome. It's been winterized, but we'll put a water in it and make it all ready to go. Uh, maybe a few flaws, being a 17 years old motorhome. But with a nice hardwood floor that we spent almost $3,500 doing this. And this is what sets this motorhome apart from any other diesel pusher you're looking at. Uh, clean motorhome, turnkey, uh, well maintained, and it will not last too long. We have a lean free, clear title in my hand. 864-404-0054. Let's get on the road. Alrighty, we're going to do a test drive on this 2000 Journey 36 L. It's a one slide with a 275 horse Cummins. As you heard me earlier in my video, uh, the reason of this test drive so you get to see what this thing does on the road. If you guys have driven some Class A gas or Class C, the, the difference in a Class A diesel because they ride on a Freightliner chassis with the air ride suspension. So they're like commer commercial grade suspension. So they handle road a little bit better than a Class A gas. We've got a backup monitor here. The dash air conditioner is working good. We have exhaust brakes on. We're doing 60 miles an hour just entering the highway. Didn't take any time to accelerate. Doing 65. Let's see, I'm going to try the cruise out. Cruise has engaged at about 65. So cruise control works for those long journey you want to make in this motorhome. So we've got exhaust brakes, automatic four-speed Allison. This thing, the guy traded in on a four-slide Newmar Mountaineer. He said he's going to miss his fuel mileage because the, what he bought was ISC Cummins which is a bigger Cummins, about eight, nine miles a gallon. This one, he swear up and down, he got double digit gas mileage. He got 12 to 13 miles a gallon. Let's just say if it was over exaggerated, you're gonna get 10 plus on this ISB 275 horsepower Cummins. Now I'm driving on the highway, as you can see, I'm not fighting the steering wheel. It's, it's steering straight. Uh, no pulling to the right or left. It's a good solid mud home. I don't want to scare everybody off here, but let's check this out. It's got a big air horn. <laughs> uh, we have a Sony Explode stereo over here. Got a USB charger. And got another regular cigarette lighter charger. I can't say anything uh, bad about this mud home. The way it drives, no unnecessary noises. Rides really good. Now, I'd like to uh, end this video with my phone numbers, 864-404-0054. Or you can call my son at 864-376-5600. So my number is 864-376-5600. Or my cell phone number is 864-404-0054. I prefer text communication. But if you don't know how to text, no worries. Just leave me a voicemail and uh, I'll get back with you. I do have a Tennessee title in my hand. People who traded this motorhome in, I have a lean free, clear title in my hand. I do take trades of a motorhomes or travel trailers or fifth wheels or cars, but no classic cars, please. Just So you got my number is 864-404-0054 or 864-376-5600. Thank you for watching my video, 
and have a great day.